Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video by yours truly. Uh, I guess we need to discuss first and foremost, Gotcha Smack, why didn't you have your Argenti discussion? You always have your discussions with every character that comes out. If you all kept up with the channel, remember when I uh, covered him upon his initial reveal and his gameplay and all that, I told y'all, I said, I'm not picking this character up. He looks boring as shit. He looks very strong. He has the highest multiplier ultimate I've seen in the game thus far. He's even higher than Jinguin Stan's multiplier, which is insane. But you, if you remember, I also said he has the most simplistic kit I've ever seen in my life. There's nothing. There's no depth to it at all. There's no complexity. There's no intricate shit. It's just ult. That's it. Skill and then ult. <laughs> and so because of that, I'm not about to sit here and try to like go do the most to explain to you how to play somebody that's just so fucking easy to play. Like, bro, put the physical set on him, skill and all. That's it. There's nothing else to talk about. So I didn't do the discussion because of that, even if it would have been easy money and easy views. But I want to talk to you guys about why you should not pull on Argenti's banner or debatably even Silver Wolf's banner. Listen, hear me out. Let me cook. First of all, let's get let's get this out the way. OK, yeah, uh, you aren't included. OK, you like Argenti and you want to pull out him because you like him and you don't care about meta. As always, we get it now. All right, let's get that out the way. And now let's let's talk about value. Argenti is one dimensional and he's a DPS who's a physical erudition unit. And he's a damn strong DPS at that. Um, I'm not taking that away from him. If you picked him up, good for you. What we are, the target audience we're talking to right now is the audience who doesn't have money to throw away, the audience that needs to be very smart with their resources, especially new players who aren't spending money recklessly on this game or just don't have the money to blow. I cannot in good conscience tell you to pick up a one dimensional DPS that can only do one thing and with the, with the flick of the wrist, the meta or not the meta, the, the memory of chaos and simulated universe and the elements that they give, as well as the scenarios they give, can take him from being this strong to being mid. They do it all the time. It's always a trajectory based off of who they're promoting. So like, I can't in good conscience tell you to pull on Argenti, knowing that he is a calm before the storm that is approaching in 1.6. Argenti's value, the storm that is approaching in 1.6. She, uh, she, she's an Asgard, bro. <laughs> like, that's how cracked she looks. It is the most insane shit I've seen in this game thus far. And that includes Branya and Tinyun. Um, So I can't good conscience tell you to pull on this guy. Now there's Silver Wolf. And then there's the banner four stars that come with Silver Wolf. The unfortunate thing about this is that that entire banner is the ultimate like support package for a newcomer i, I got silver wolf hanya asta Lynx. god damn that's a good value right but the the character coming after them is better than all four of them put together <laughs> i'm serious guys like it's it's crazy ruin may is gonna ruin may she's gonna ruin you and she's gonna ruin the meta <laughs> like that's literally what's get, getting ready to happen here the other issue is that silver wolf's light cone isn't isn't coming back they haven't announced it the free to play one which means if you're a newcomer you have to pick up silver wolf and then pray you have Sampo's light cone, which is a gotcha light cone. You probably don't have it. What the hell are you gonna throw on her? You know what I mean? You, 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 now you gotta go for a signature light cone? Again, these two banners are in the shadow of Ruin May, 1.6. So it's like, if they were like two banners off or three banners off, then I'd be like, yeah, yeah, cool. Go ahead, do your thing. Bro, they're right before her. Like, that's just not, that's the dumbest fucking way to spend your resources. This lady, and here's the thing, I guess we could talk about this too. Things change, right? They changed their kit. She's even more cracked than she was pre-beta. They could change it again. That can very well happen. So the safest thing for you to do is to sit still and just wait for them to reveal her kit. Because when they reveal the kits and they start going into the details, because they never reveal full-blown kit, they never reveal full-blown hard numbers, but they will eventually have that live stream and they're gonna show what she's capable of. And when they do that, 
I haven't seen in the six months the game has been out, I haven't seen them change anything after doing that since. I haven't seen them change a character's kit. So wait for the reveal, and then we'll be able to understand if she's gonna remain where she is right now. If she does, guys, I'm not kidding. Not only does she look to be the only character that's actually gonna be better than Branya, her E1 sets that argument to the side indefinitely, and her light cone. It's like, if you have all the resources available, I would just put as much of it as you can into her and whatever makes her better. E1, signature light cone, all that. She is looking that fucking grotesque. She is looking that valuable. She's looking to sh put an ax in the meta as we know it and be the most valuable character. You put it this way, she's the real Kazuha. All right, I'm not gonna say Farina because Farina came so much longer and she she power crept people that didn't need to be power crept, but she's looking to be the next Kazuha 110 fucking percent and you would be an absolute fool to use your very finite and limited resources on the characters that are out right now. Hold the shit out of them, stay strong, diamond hands as they said in the stock market, all right? Do not waste that shit. Now, I do wanna make sure I don't forget as well. Argenti, if you don't have his signature light cone or the battle pass light cone at high refinement, I think his performance is extremely mid. Argenti seems to be one of those DPSs that needs their signature light cone or that battle pass light cone, that needs it to really perform. If you don't have it, their value goes down. The freaking, the, the, the signature light cone for this man is literally the battle pass light cone but even more cracked. They threw 36% crit damage on it, plus higher base stats, and gave it the same exact thing that the Battle Pass does. That is the most atrocious value for Argenti. So if you pick up his signature light cone, yeah, he is a fucking disgusting DPS. The problem though, is he is right before one point, who in their right mind, outside of an Argenti stan or fan, is going to pick up an Argenti period, first of all, and then pick up his signature light cone on that dog shit fucking light cone banner. Nobody's doing this except people who are just diehard Argenti fans and people who have money to just throw away. It's like, that's what I'm saying. The context surrounding him is just horrible. Just like the context surrounding Silver Wolf. Who's gonna pick up Silver Wolf's fucking mid ass light cone right before Ruin May? It just don't make sense in any way, shape or form. I've tried to put my head around it. I've tried to wrap it. I'm just like, I cannot in good conscience tell these people to pull on these banners. Now there's Hanya, who I've told you before, is a very good uh, Harmony unit tied behind uh, Eidolons, mind you. At E0, she's pretty much unplayable. I mean, sure, you can use her, but if you don't have her at E2 bare minimum, she's pretty much mid as hell. I, I did snag me a coffee, I'll be honest with you. I snagged, uh, I did, okay, so let's just go ahead and address this. I, I pulled 50 wishes on the banner because I knew I wasn't going to get shafted. I pulled 50 wishes on the banner and got two copies of Hanya, right? You could very well do 50 wishes on the banner, get two copies of Hanya and an accidental Silver Wolf or Argenti. I wouldn't recommend it. I can do that because I can just throw some more money at the game and it's fine because I'm a content creator, right? But you, on the other hand, don't really have that benefit. Again, speaking to the person who has limited resources. So like, to do all that for a unit that really her real value comes out at E4 or higher, it's just not worth the, the bet when another unit is coming out that is like worth her and Silver will put to fucking together, you know? So that, that's my thoughts on that whole should you pull or skip conversation. I know y'all were looking forward to it. This is the first time I do it before. I mean, after the updates already dropped, it's because I was just sitting here really pondering on this stuff. And I was just like, you know what, man? I can sit here and tell them, oh, this character does this and this character does that. Or I could tell them the truth and say, yeah. Fuck all them, fuck, fuck 1.5 all together. Save the shit out those Stellar Jades. Uh, those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side.